This is example number three. We're going to be looking at the program of an advanced practitioner, specifically for their strength training and making sure that that advanced practitioner is still progressing and getting stronger. We're still working on our strength for an advanced practitioner, still on that 80 to 100% anaerobic type training where we're doing low reps, high sets. However, for an advanced practitioner, you need to realize that the increments will have decreased and the amount that you can increase your strength by are going to be very, very small. So you want to make sure that you're focusing on perfect technique and full range of motion while you do the increase of strength. We're still looking at that 80 to 100% of our raw strength ability. So our anaerobic type training, where we're doing very, very low reps, but high weight. For an advanced practitioner, the amount that you will be able to increase by will be a lot smaller than when you were a beginner or an intermediate. It doesn't mean that you will have to stop. It just means that you will have to become more granular with smaller increments as you progress. The reason that we are absolutely critical of all these things is because it will physically make the exercise harder. Having to ensure that you've got correct mechanics the entire way, full range of motion the entire way, it will make the exercise infinitely harder. A lot of people miss sections, miss little bits and pieces, and by correcting those little pieces, makes the exercise harder and it means that actually you'll be a lot more functional in the long run but for now it will be harder to do. So for the advanced practitioner I would make sure that we are doing again as always our joint mobility moving into a general warm-up where I would probably include again the biceps and tricep openers and maybe some QM as well to make sure that they're warm then we go into our specific pulling warm-up. With this example, I would have the advanced practitioner still use the red band for mechanics. It will probably be very, very easy for them, but still to not worry about the strength aspect, worrying about the actual mechanics and technique and form and full range of motion of the pull-up. And they can do that by just having a little bit of assistance with the red band. Secondly, I would then put them on the bar with normal body weight pull-ups. This would also be an intermediate type of warm-up where, again, they do another two sets, another two reps of just body weight pull-up. Finally, they would move into their actual work sets and their training, and I would put them onto the weight belt and I would have weight on whatever that weight would be for them. That would be their five repetitions and their three sets of that. Additionally, what we can do is change the set and rep amount slightly. I would probably still keep the three sets, but maybe reduce it down to four repetitions instead of five. So going to lower numbers of repetitions means that you should be able to do slightly more weight. And we can do that by again testing, instead of the five rep max, you test the four rep max, you can even go to triples or doubles. And that is going to be closer to raw, pure anaerobic strength. So for the advanced practitioner, I would have them doing four reps of three sets. And that way I would be able to increase the weight slightly and boost their strength. On the negative side, that means that their, their endurance and their muscular endurance is going to forfeit slightly. That's one of the reasons why we sit on the five repetitions is because it is a happy medium between raw strength and the singles and endurance all the way up to 20s plus. So this is a small example of how to do an advanced practitioner's type training. Obviously, the amounts of the weight on the weight belt will change depending on that ability, but generally that is what I would give an advanced practitioner to increase their strength. 